I have an interesting dilemma. I have this circa 1970s Onkyo stereo receiver which I use for my main stereo system. The back of my stereo receiver only has composite RCA or phono inputs. And that's all fine and dandy if I have plans on sticking to period correct equipment like this Carver TX11. Or maybe not so period correct but still appropriate. This Audio Technica ATLP60. Because all of those devices output to regular old composite RCA phono outputs. Unfortunately my dilemma comes into play when I want to output the audio from something modern like this Amazon Fire Stick. The only problem with these devices there's no analog audio output. All you get with a Fire Stick is an HDMI output and a micro USB power input. So unfortunately it's not going to be as easy as just plugging in some phono jacks to the Amazon Fire Stick. Most people would probably just go ahead and suggest to use the audio output, the headphone output. Most flat panel LCD modern day TVs have at least a 3.5 millimeter audio output jack and this TV does have a 3.5 millimeter stereo audio jack but notice how it mentions that this is only an audio input there's nothing in the way of analog audio outputs on this television however hiding between the VGA and coax inputs notice that there's a digital audio output now it's all well and good for people that have modern day sound bars with optical audio inputs. Obviously, can't just connect these right up to the stereo system and sail off into the sunset. Well, that's where this little wonder comes into play. There's a plethora of these things available online. They take an optical audio cable's output and convert them to good old-fashioned phono jacks. This particular example is manufactured by this company called, I'm assuming, Prozar? Prozar? Nothing special about this one or any particular reason for my having purchased it and testing it out aside from it being the cheapest digital to analog audio converter I could find. I have an optical audio input for connecting the optical audio output of my TV to or a digital coaxial input. Left and right stereo outputs, uh, phono RCA jacks and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now we're rapidly approaching the moment of truth which will speed up that process of course by connecting the optical audio output and in my particular case I'm going to connect up the USB jack of the TV to the USB power supply lead for the digital to analog converter so that way it turns off when the TV is turned off. Last thing to do of course is to connect up the RCA jacks to the output of this little magical mystical box. Alright let's see what happens when I turn the TV on. I see a red power light. Here's an interesting note that uh, I actually would have never discovered unless I actually took the time to go through the manual and that's this mention here of setting your devices to output regular PCM audio. I suppose we should probably heed their advice and change the audio settings to PCM from Dolby Digital. And okay it's already preset to PCM output. Switch over to the correct input. And do away with listening to the craptastic speakers of my TV and instead use the ones that are hooked up to my stereo system. And what's nice about this approach is it actually affords me the ability to add more inputs than my stereo system can support. Because now I can output all the audio from my cable TV box including this commercial free music. Likewise the TV is going to behave as a sort of audio AV switcher because anything that's now connected to it, be it composite, component, PC audio input, cable TV, analog uh, satellite antenna, you name it, and of course the HDMI inputs, all can be switched and output using this 192K digital to analog audio converter box. And what's nice for those times where uh, live streaming just isn't cutting the mustard for me, I can go ahead and play whatever I want just by using my voice. Play Summer Madness on YouTube. I can't begin to describe how pleased I am to actually have good quality audio and be able to output all these digital audio sources that are hooked up to my TV to my stereo system. 